Hello guys and welcome back to today's video. In today's video I want to show you how to use Leonardo AI to create pictures which are in the same pose, uh, characters which are in the same pose uh, as on other pictures so you get stabilized content. So first what is Leonardo AI? Leonardo AI is the same as Midjourney, it's an AI art generator from text to image and you can get an early access at Leonardo AI by clicking here uh, on early access. I will link the Leonardo AI site down below and then click in your email address and click on count me in then you will get a notification and a link for their discord channel to their general um, so if you are new in the discord you will come out here and then the first thing you need to do is to go to general and then give a short introduction of yourself and then you will get the priority early access form uh, which you need to fill in here you will get this uh, this channel then if you uh, gave a short introduction of yourself, you get this form, fill this out and then after in the next 24 hours you get a next email notification with uh, a link where your email address which you gave in this form here was whitelisted. So, if this has happened then you can click on get early, uh, you can click on launch app, click on yes I'm whitelisted and you will be loaded into the Leonardo AI app as I am um, already so then you would come to this home picture here you have different featured models which you can use and you also see some recent creations from other creators uh, which have created with these different models which create a different style so but what i want to show you today is how to get the same pose of a picture uh, from other pictures so again so what do we need first we search uh, we want to create an image with the same image. So let's go to AI image creation. Here you have your own tools. Here you can create your own pictures. On the left side you have your settings which are really uh, amazing so you see. And down below here you have image to image and you can and down below here you have upload uh, or drag and drop an image uh, which you can use here. So I drag and drop an image here. Now I click on pose to image and switch it on. So and as it states here it's only available with models which use uh, the stable diffusion 1.5 so I will show you next uh, how you can find this out if your model uses this the advanced settings uh, you can let them as they are with Euler Discrete uh, the only thing you need to edit is the image dimension you need to know the image dimension of your recent picture so that it doesn't get stretched so as it states here 640 to 8032 is the uh, image dimension of this model which also used uh, was used to create this picture so how do I get a model which uses Stable Diffusion 1.5? You can click directly on Stable Diffusion 5, uh, 1.5 here or you go to select custom models and then you can go to platform models and then search for a model which you like to click on. And for example here at GP 4.0 and here I see the base model is Stable Diffusion version 1.5. So and then I click on generate with this model and it will be locked in here. So what I can do next is I see this man here sitting. So what do I want now? I want uh, a girl. Um, with a backpack, for example. With a backpack, another man. So then I click on generate, and as you can see, you uh, a generation of four images costs you three tokens. You have 250 tokens per day. So it's definitely enough to create many, many pictures. So what you also can do is activate Leonardo style, which works best with using Leonardo creative and Leonardo select. So we are not using this at the moment, so we let it out. So what we now see is, we have a girl with a backpack which sits. We haven't defined where it should sit and so. And for the first two pictures, this is a little bit strange here because there are some feet below. But we see that the girl has nearly the same pose as this man has from the feet and also from the head. This looks a little bit more straight away. That's not the best pose for the head. So girl with a backpack, you can click on sitting on a bank for example. So. With this we give them some down below, sitting on a bank, um, mountains in the back, for example. Yeah. Now let's generate again. So now it generates this and then it generates that. It's really quick, so definitely nice uh, to use Leonardo AI with such features. You have many settings you can uh, edit, for example the guidance scale which gives on how strongly your prompt is weighted and how uh, free Leonardo is with the creation. So now we have a girl with backpack sitting on a bank. So the sitting on a bank didn't work as much as I thought it would work, but the pictures are not the best, uh, the baddest. So what we see here is a little bit uh, strange with their fingers. And here this girl sits on another backpack, but definitely from the pose it has the same pose. So now it gets better. The more information uh, we give it, uh, the more better, the better Leonardo AI works. So here we have the third leg, which shouldn't be there, but 
as you can see it here the girl sits uh, has nearly the same pose uh, the second leg doesn't uh, looks like here but for example here the picture is a little bit strange to face but the mountains in the back are now and we should uh, make um, this sitting on a mountain for example again um, on a mountain so let's look what this gives us out and this picture is really nice so i want to upscale it and look how it looks when i upscale it so you have two options for upscale this is the first the creative upscale and if this doesn't work you have the upscale image alternate which gives you a better quality if your creative upscale doesn't work that's why they included this so you can also click on remove the background or unzoom your image you can use these features uh, 25 times per day and then it will be reset it. one of these uh, features costs you one token so as we can see it now girl sitting on the mountain looking in the back here the head is nicely uh, to the side so it definitely looks good so now we look at the upscale image here which gives us more quality let's look at the original image now everything is a little bit smooth and cleaner as you can see it here for example with the back pack let's look at the original again here it's everything a little bit uh, fuzzy now it's sharp so to say so let's try it again with another picture so from now on you will search for in post or in picture uh, i want to look for post a picture which I can use to show you again with another example for this i think i can use the super grill here. so what i do now is if i want to get exactly the same picture creation i copy the negative prompt and then click on image to image generation and with this it copies uh, the image clicks on post to image already and what i can do now i can set in this um, negative prompt i copied in the negative prompt and also the normal prompt is in it so i can click now and generate and it will generate me this model. So what we do next is we don't give in Supergirl, but Superman instead. So now, guys, here are the created pictures are. For example, this is our girl here. And this is all the created girls now. As you can see, it used nearly the same pose. That isn't exactly the same for it. This is the best, I think so, from standing picture. The head is a little bit different. But what we can do next is we type in not Supergirl, but Superman to see if it changes something. What you can also do... Um, Let's give it a completely different prompt, for example, um, man standing in the rain um, with a black suit on. And then take out this negative prompt and generate this again to see what this brings us. So for example here now, you see this is Superman. We have a little bit different description for the background now, but as you can see it, the pose is definitely the same as with this picture. The hands are also the same uh, spots where it is with the Supergirl. So this definitely really, really works really nice. So for example, this image looks the best. So I want to upscale this with the creative upscale and show you with this brings. So and here we have the man with a black suit and no, it doesn't have the, yeah, okay, what's happened here. But this one, for example, has the third leg, that's bad. But this one doesn't look bad instead of his nice, uh, useful, brain cover here I have to say this also uh, these two have also three legs that's not what I wanted so in this case I would now click on negative prompt and click on third and exclude the third leg so to say exclude the third leg so that this won't happen again so now the Superman is upscaled we have a original image which has a little bit more details I have to say so it's definitely the same but now it gets smooth what we can do now is this is too many a few uh, too many details get lost for upscaling you can click on the upscale image alternative so it will upscale this again with an alternative variant to this normal creative uh, variant so let's have a look at this how this looks like so so as we can see here now the third leg is gone at these two boys but the head is here a little bit better but it's okay you can see that the pose is the same so now we have the upscale image from the uh, Superman and as you can see this is definitely with more details. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this short informational video about how to get the same post for your pictures with Leonardo AI and how to use it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel and click the like button. And to don't forget the future uh, videos which are coming up in the next video, I will show you how to use the ChatGPT API to code your own app. So thanks, have a nice day and bye.